<laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> Seems like that's online. And I got sound. Welcome to Start Building Me, folks. My daily proof of concept that consistent training forms a habit that is life changing and groundbreaking. I've got a bone up on my. Um, what would you say? Dialogue, I suppose. Look, let me try that again. Start Building Me is a system, or well, not even a system. It's just a, a concept that I'm trying to explain to people that form in a healthy habit and not healthy like having a good diet and doing exercise because it's healthy. A healthy habit is in a habit that you want to do. A habit just like you're going to go to bed every night, right? I love sleep. It's the best part of my day. That's what it's like to be a 40 year old boomer. It's sad. But anyway, I love sleep. You're going to sleep every day. That's a healthy habit. You want to go to sleep every day or at least you know, my cousin in his 20s doesn't, but you know, I can't remember sleeping much in my 20s either. So eating's another good habit. Like who doesn't like eating? And like, I'm not a huge fan of eating, but I still eat, right? I'm not gonna be, I'll fast. And I might have a day off eating, but I'll get back to it the next day. Going to the bathroom, brushing your teeth, um, chatting with your friends. These are all healthy habits, right? You want to do them and they're beneficial for your development your quality of life. Exercise is no different, folks. <laughs> it really isn't. It's just something that you have in your head as in it's a chore or something that you don't want to do because the fitness industry has been pushing all this uh, BS on you your whole life that, you know, no pain, no gain, uh, you know, blast, the, blast your delts and like all this ridiculous stuff and it just makes you get turned off or if you don't exercise, you didn't grow up doing sport or, you know, getting outside and fishing and, and cycling, whatever, in this new digital era, it can be daunting. And you can go to the gym and there's everyone there in their, you know, spandex and, you know, thousand dollar costumes. Just a size, how you going? Just, uh, practicing my normal shtick that you have to listen to every day to explain people what a healthy habit is and trying to establish the fact that it's not, you know, healthy eating and healthy exercise, just a healthy habit is the fact that you want to do it and uh, you want to do it every day just like you should, like going to the toilet, brushing your teeth, drinking water, eating food, work, whatever it is. Uh, well, work's a terrible example, but nonetheless is, um, this is what I'm aiming for to teach people is to get this habit. Once you've established that habit with coming in here and talking with me and listening to my rhetoric day in, day out, to get to the point where you're like, hey, I actually do feel better training every day. Then you can go play a sport, you can go to a gym, you can do it by yourself. But I want to get people over the hurdle where it's just like, yeah, I am i definitely am jazz it's just i've got another book prioritized that i'm writing at the moment because i'm enjoying it a lot of, about the last 10 years which um obviously will make a lot of sense to you because i was uh literally uh still living with you oh just about 10 years ago um uh but yes i do want to write a book about it just to summarize that it is something that you should be doing daily, but doing it, you know, without a grudge. And, you know, as we've discussed, the bare minimum is still exercise. And it's not like you have to go to the gym every day or, you know, do cliffhanger level stuff. Um, I just really want to get people into this habit. That's what I'm offering. You know, that's all I'm offering is to get them here. And like for yourself, it's like we've got whatever, I'm watering the garden, so I'm gonna be out of here in 20 minutes or something like that. Come in, shoot some SHIT, speak with me and tell me what you're eating for dinner. Uh, if you've been meditating, talk about your practices. I'm trying to get engagement from people. So if people are reviewing this video, they can read the chat thread or listen to what I'm saying and um, maybe pick up some tips and tricks along the way like you know for instance i fast every day and i started eating at two o'clock and i started with bone broth i had bone broth and then i had um, all my vitamins with a protein shake 
And this morning I went for a run and I walked the dog. Then I kicked back and I watched uh, Sully, the movie, which was awesome. I watched Flight the day before. I was on the flight theme uh, with Denzel, which is brilliant. Uh, Robert, oh, Zemeckis, what's his name? The dude that did uh, Black, uh, Back to the Future. Um, I can't remember, but he's an awesome director. And I mean, Flight is awesome, but Sully was cool as well. So I'll walk and talk, as I say, just to try and get some stuff, do some squats. I'm going to try and get my heart rate up for a second, just to prove it functional strength training. And let's see. So I'll use the 12 kilo kettlebell. And I'll just get my heart rate quickly. Zemeckis, yeah. Oh. What was that? That was weird. Did that change the settings? No? Maybe I fat fingered that, never mind. Yeah, uh, awesome, awesome movie. Uh, and it's one of those real cool thought experiments. Uh, Omni bag here, whoever that is talking. That smack talk, good on you. Thanks for joining us, whoever you are. Now look, just to show your heart rate going up, currently 85 BPM, hip hinging, not bending my back, keeping it neutral. Just to show you there from that perspective. I'm breathing. It's sort of weird looking at with lag. And remember that old statement, a clown is only a clown with an audience. All right, so my heart rate up there, even with the 12 kilo kettlebell is at 125. So getting your heart rate up for 120, warming yourself up, could be anything from running on the spot. Like I always say, running on the spot, landing on the pad behind your toes is what you want to do. Because it will uh, make you walk properly, basically. If you want to see, like I always explain, if you want to walk properly, the best way to do it is to practice walking backwards. If you walk backwards, you will land naturally on the pad just behind your toes. And that's how you're supposed to walk. Think of a supermodel. Yes, it kind of looks corny, but do you want to look corny or do you want to have your knees replaced when you're 50 years old? I know what I would prefer. Try and run on the pads behind your toes. So this is a thanks for coming session on Sunday as it always is. Just here to shoot the proverbial see what people are up to, see what healthy habits they have. My healthy habit today was kicking back watching some TV. Like I said, flight, awesome film. It's one of those thought experiments is, <laughs> do you persecute somebody for doing something wrong when they did uh, active heroic uh, you know, business at the same time? I think, uh, <laughs> by saving everybody's life, but for people, I think they should have probably let him off the hook. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's just me. I can see a lot of people would be like, drugs are bad, don't do that. Anyway, as always, do a few squats and then we can say we did more squats than what you did yesterday. That's what the aim of the game is here, folks, is just to try and get you to do the bare minimum exercise over 15, 20 minutes, come back to it the next day because it's something you gotta do every day, right, folks? you should want to do it every day as well, right? Don't be like, okay, uh, you know, uh, I've got to exercise. You should think like, I'm gonna sleep better tonight if I do this. I'm gonna have a better bowel movement when I do this. I'm gonna digest my food better. I'm gonna reduce the fact, uh, the, reduce the fact that uh, I might get cancer in my life by something like 60%. Uh, reduces your chance of getting dementia, uh, things like Alzheimer's and Korsakoff syndrome. A exercise is a panacea. There's no way around it if you want to live healthy. Uh, I know people like, oh, I eat well and I sleep and drink water. Or I don't drink soft drink. If you don't exercise, forget it. That's pretty much like the most important part. 
is actually processing all that stuff through your body. So, think about it, squat, sitting back into your heels, breathe in, breathe out. And just, you don't have to do it at a rush pace like I always do, go at it like a bull at a gate. Because it's like you really get that flow state and a groove on if you can support your body under gravity for a couple minutes, like you really should aim to be able to do it like I'm doing it now. But nonetheless, any repetition is good. So what you can do is, you can just start off and you can do one. Take a break, shake your legs out, think of what you're gonna do tonight or this morning or wherever you are in the world. After this, I've been reading on the various geometry of camshafts and which camshaft I'm going to put into my new Type 1 Beetle engine. Uh, I don't want cam lobe overlap because it gives incorrect readings if you start using EFI systems. Uh, I'm going to put an ECU system on a vintage motor which will be an interesting upgrade. I'm going to keep it naturally aspirated. I'm not going to have turbo or supercharged just yet. I'm just trying to get it really torquey. So live flight wheel, high compression, bigger cylinder, high slam deck height, ported heads, stiffer springs, roller rockers, r roller ratio rockers. It's going to be, you know, if you get a beetle which is 750 kilograms to have 130 horsepower, which is like about what my stock Subaru Impreza is, you will beat a V8 off the mark all day, any day, right? Because your 750 kilos in the modern car is double that. So that's like having a 260 horsepower car, but you know, like I said, if it's light, short wheelbase, uh, not much sprung or unsprung mass rather, you'll be able to kick some seriously powerful cars off the mark. However, that's not necessarily the plan for me. I just want to comfortably cruise around 60 to 80 kilometers. I want to be light. This is a beach buggy, so I take it to the beach, cruise it around there. So I've got to factor in a lot more stuff than just raw horsepower, which is what most of the gronks go after in North Queensland, where I am in Australia. So let's try and get some squats out. One, two, three, four, five. Supporting coordinated body mass for time is something that you should all be aspiring to do in your life, folks. If you find it difficult to sit back into your heels with your arms out, or even have a wider stance if you don't have very good flexibility to keep your back going down straighter, yeah, I wouldn't say you've got problems, but you should be working at the coordinated movement to be able to support yourself under gravity. Super important, folks. And it's just such a simple thing to do. Like you stand up and well, you sit onto a chair and you stand back up. Now just think of that. That's the exercise. You've just not touching your butt on something when you go down and letting your weight off. You're just going for a one second count down, zero seconds at the bottom, and one second back up. So one, zero, one. One, zero, one. This should be a very, very ingrained exercise, folks. These are your strongest muscles in your body. I know people that can do 60 push-ups and can't do 20 squats, right? You should be able to do this all day, every day. Focus on your breathing, you've got to oxygenate your blood. Oh, the Illuminati, watch out, the lizard people are on the loose. Don't, 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 don't laugh. You won't be laughing when you're digging, the, digging in, in the spice mines for the lizard people, as the late JS used to tell me all the time. It's all fun and games until the lizard men have you. Anyway. The Bavarian Illuminati did exist, but I believe it was the 16th century. And uh, 
<laughs> well, yeah, I'd go to the Spice Mines as well to be part of the Illuminati. Maybe, maybe there's a solid career progression that you can go up through. <laughs> it's better than the corporate structures that I've seen. Who knows? They might give you decent bonuses and actual not slap in the face uh, bumps at the end of the year that barely uh, beat inflation. Um, so that I started that at 10 minutes ago. I'm going to do a few more squats. I'm going to do 20 more. And then I'm going to do a couple of push-ups just so we can say that we did more today than yesterday, Jazz, which is fair because, I mean, I didn't do any yesterday. So if I go for 10 today, then that's a good start. And that's how you've got to think of it, folks. We're not competing with LeBron James or Gordon Ryan or... Uh, Stephanie Gilmore or, uh, you know, Clarissa Shields or, you know, insert professional athletes here. All we're trying to do is get into the habit of doing exercise. And once you're in that habit, folks, you will never want to break it. It will improve your life. And then you can go on to the vast, and I mean vast, amount of information on the web about different training modalities and what you can do whatever you're interested in. It might be football, like soccer, like real football. I'm not talking about the junk that other people watch, like rugby. Just kidding, rugby's all right. Um, track and field, boxing, combat sports, jiu-jitsu, uh, motocross riding, mountain bike riding, road cycling, whatever it is you want. After you form that habit, you can go off and form that habit using the same principles that I'm teaching now. Once you've formed that keystone habit, and do it to anything else that you want to. Because like I said, exercise and health is so revered because you can't buy it, you can't steal it, you can't cheat it. There's no way you can obtain it apart from doing it, which is why the Nike slogan, just do it, is such an awesome slogan because it's uh, the only way you can get it. So, you know, you can talk BS and you can sit around and do nothing all day or you can watch people play video games on Twitch or, you know, you can develop your own personal character <laughs> in this real life MMORPG where the gains that you collect from it um, stay with you for life and uh, don't die after you go to the next game, folks. It's much more revered than your level 99 Paladin or some garbage in Diablo or whatever game it is that you're playing like Fortnite or whatnot. So, you know, you should really be like, okay, I'm going to spend 15 minutes during the day to improve my life. And, I, you know, it, it's easy. It really is easy. It's like, think about how dumb professional athletes are, folks, and they can do this stuff all day, every day. All they have, which most people don't, is discipline. <laughs> and you get discipline through consistent habits. And this is what I'm trying to teach you, is you get the habit and then you monitor your performance over time and that will establish discipline. And once you have discipline, that translates to any other activity that you want to do in life. Can I get disciplined? Yes, but since this is a PG and G channel, then it's not probably the discipline that you would prefer. But uh, drop me a message on Twitter and I'll maybe be able to sort you out with a service that can give you that sort of discipline. Um, but like I said, maybe we're getting our messages mixed here. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do 20 more squats and I'm going to do some push-ups. <laughs> and then I'm going to go and, uh, like I said, what was I going to do? I was watching Chinatown. That's not as good as everyone says it is. Well, not in my memory anyway. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's change stance. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now is a good benchmark. That put my heart rate back up to 121, which is pretty cool. Just so, like resting, it was like at 80. Now it's at 120. I am going to change the camera to my push-up cam, which was camera two. That looks pretty well adjusted anyway with my magic crystal ball. So, 
to do a push up as I've explained for the last two years. And I might have it up on the wall so people can read it, but nonetheless, this is the foundation course, so I will speak about this stuff non-stop until I'm blue in the face. So, what you want to do for doing push-ups. If you cannot do a strict push-up, do not worry. If you're in your room, nobody's going to be watching, nobody's going to be laughing, and even if they were, to hell with them. Because, you know, people who aren't supportive of people when they're trying to get fitter exercise are usually just hacks themselves. So, you can start on your knees. Lean forward. Breathe in. Or the other way. You don't have to do a strict push-up, right? All you have to do is push up your body's mass, which is exactly what you're doing, even if you want to take a little bit of that tension off by putting yourself on your knees there, don't worry, go for it. If it's gonna make the exercise easier and make, uh, make you able to actually perform uh, the exercise, and this is a basic compound movement. So squats, push-ups, i.e. bench press and deadlifts are the big three powerlifting lifts. They're called compound movements because they involve multiple muscle groups and coordinated efforts to do the exercise. So, if you can do a push-up, great. Start on the ground, look straight ahead, do push-ups till the cows come home. Do them for time. Like I said, all I'm trying to do today is more than I did yesterday, right? I did none yesterday, so I've already beat myself today. Uh, I can't remember if, exactly how many I did, but like I said, I just wanted to do a few. I've still got my tap running, so I don't want to flood my garden, but my garden is looking amazing. My grass with the CK88 is deep, rich green, and I have my ice bath, which I put magnesium sulfate in, which is good for muscle relaxing. And I can uh, fill up some uh, watering cans worth of that and put it on the garden, and that really helps the absorption of nitrogen in your fertile, in your uh, grass and it's a really deep green at the moment coming into summer in the tropics. It's uh, grass growing season, so that's good. Can practice my golf swing out in the lawn, kick the dog ball around and let him rip up the ball. Rip up any intruders that try and jump my fence and get into my techno dome. And, uh, and that's about it for me today. So I'm gonna do a few more push ups and then call it a night. Get some traction going, Jazz, good to see you. Good to get some, some uh, SHIT talking from Omnibag here, it's keeping me <laughs> entertained. Glad to see, maybe we can sign up for a two for one deal at the L Illuminati. Just throwing it out there, man. Like I said, hit me up on Twitter and we'll, <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> I think I could go all the way to the top in an evil enterprise like the Illuminati. I think, uh, they would realize, just like on The Simpsons, when Homer becomes a stone cutter, I think that would be like me. They'll be like, hang on, you're the devil itself, you know? <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> I love that with Monty Burns. Anyway, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just proof is again 82, 89. My heart rate, obviously not as much as squats because those big muscles require a lot of blood. <laughs> and uh, let's see, 106, 104, so 20 BPM increase from just doing 10 push-ups. I am just gonna do 10 more and then call a, a quits for the night, folks. Like I say, this is short and sweet, the bare minimum. I'm trying to encourage people to come in between having a beer or, you know, coming uh, before going and playing games, before going and studying, going into work, whatever it is, blow some steam off, get your blood pumping, folks. It will save your life. It will make you feel happier. Like I said, Google, is exercise important? <laughs> and see a million pages and a million reasons why it is. 
You can't cheat it, you can't buy it, you can't hack it. Like I said, that's why it's so revered. But you can do the bare minimum, and the bare minimum is, they say, 35 minutes a day. I think it should be less than that. I reckon you can nail it in about 15. However, I do about three hours a day, so it depends on how much uh, your appetite is for this. Anyway, without further ado, 10 more push-ups and I'm out of here. Didn't get to watch in Thor jazz. I couldn't get myself to do it. I seriously hate superhero movies. Um, but I hope it was all right. What did I watch in, oh yeah, I said I watched Flight. It was sweet as well. Anyway, 10 more and I'm gonna go switch off the hose. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're done. Switch back up to my normal cam. Camera one on the switch item. And look, looking considerably more red. Yay, we are done. I'll have to check out flight. Definitely do. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it reminds me of how Stu Gordon would have been as a pilot, but that's not exactly true. Anyway, folks, have a great weekend. I'll be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. Might even be around. I'll squish you plenty, Omni Bag. Watch your fresh mouth. Drop and give me 20. Night, folks. Take it easy.